Okay, this is how to get iRead on your iPad. So when you first start out, you'll need to go to the App Store, if you haven't already done so, and download iRead. It's free. But I do have to warn you, um, I've downloaded it on three different iPads, and each time it takes about 45 minutes for it to load. Make sure you have enough space also on your iPad before you do that. And then this is what the icon will look like. Don't click on it yet. We have some setting up to do for that. So don't click on it. It will not work. If you do, it'll show you a screen that says tutorial. You don't want that. That's not going to help the kids. So don't click on that yet. But you do want to click on settings. And the settings is where we um, will be able to add a really long URL into the iPad. So you click, if you see the number one, you're going to click on, once once it's loaded, of course, click on the iRead icon, and then where it says SAM URL for the number two arrow, there's a really long, and that's only part of it, there's a really long address that you're going to put into that space. And I believe that space will be blank when you first click on the iRead icon. So that is the really long address that you have to type in to that SAM spot that we just saw in the last slide. And you have to type it in exactly or it will not work. If you have the link already, you can always copy it and paste it into that box. And then you should be able to immediately go into iRead on the icon from the, um, from the icon. And then your screen should look something like this, and that's where the kids can play. You click on the blue arrow, it'll ask for their username and password, and they can get right to work. Thanks for watching.